Hello and welcome to Nick Grit. My name is Cody and in today's video we're going to continue on with our fruit turtle slash whale series. I'm loving how these are turning out. Uh, in the last couple videos we've already done the pumpkin that is already up both a right and left-handed version of this tutorial as well as the strawberry turtle and there's also a strawberry whale. Same for both of these. There's a whale version of these as well. I'm super excited with how these turned out. I'm going to move these over here now because it's kind of crowded. Let me know in the future which one of these you'd like to see next. I imagine it's probably going to be the watermelon, but I really love the little cute top on the blueberry turtle as well. And you do the same thing in order to create it and turn it from being a turtle into a cutesy little whale. So you would take the same method for what I do with the shell for the first two rows of the whale, but I'll get onto that afterwards. I also recently made a little banana whale as well and the fins are a little bit different to make it look a little bit more like a banana peel and there's a dragon fruit and if you're interested in either of these becoming a turtle as well let me know down in the description below but other than that let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for this project, you're going to need some I Love This Cotton. This is a size 4 worsted weight yarn, so I prefer cotton when I'm working with amigurumi, but if you have a worsted weight acrylic or whatever, whatever you need to do to make it work, whatever you have on hand, that's what you're going to be using. I have white for the belly, and for the lime, I use this really bright citrus color as well as this color called pistachio on the base here. And for the yellow, I use the color curry. And then they have this like buttercream, I think is what the lighter color is called for the I Love This Cotton. Basically, you're going to need a dark yellow and a light yellow or a dark green and a light green if you're going to be doing the lime version. In today's version, we're going to be doing a lemon version. So this is a fairly quick tutorial. I already have the lemon head done as well as the fins and the tail that's in this giant pile here. So what we're going to be doing is basically showing how I turn the shell into having a little pointy tip and then how I also alternate it so that it looks like this on the belly and you can do it similar like this on the belly over here. I like doing the white belly, but for the whale, I'm going to have printable PDFs for the variations on both of these, and hopefully there'll be a little screenshot that you can take on the video as well if you want to take just a screenshot of that if you're in the future for the first week. That PDF is free, but after that it turns to $3, so you can just, you know, screenshot on here if you don't want to uh, purchase it after the first week, basically. All right, I am gonna be showing how to make just the turtle in this video, but also you can take the same methods and do the whale with it as well. And the PDFs again will be down below. You will also need some 12 millimeter eyes for the whales. I use 15s, so whatever you do, the bigger the eye, the more cute or kawaii it will look, and that's how that would work with the safety eyes. I do use safety eyes. You're also going to need some polyfill. No more than probably two ounces will be perfectly fine for one of these. You probably won't even need that much. You will also use a darning needle and I am using my ever so trusty Furls crochet hook. This is in the size 3.25 millimeter but whatever you need to do to get your gauge and get it so that it looks right. You can make a plush version of this with a significantly larger hook. I am going to be doing a video on how to turn any of my amigurumi patterns into a plush version so if you're interested in that stay tuned hit the like subscribe do all that stuff hit the bell if you want to be notified when I do upload I'm also working on left-hand versions of some of my older videos so that's what some of my uploads are gonna be during the month of September all right let's go ahead and get started Okay, so for the shell, there's only one big difference between this shell and the flatter shell. And how I create this little kind of pointy top is essentially I'm going to be repeating, uh, I'm doing one extra row than I would on the normal turtle shell. So here I'm grabbing my darker yellow, so this is the buttercream, but this is the curry. I'm going to wrap and make a little slip knot like so, put that on my hook, and we're going to make our ring which I do by chaining two and working back into the first 
chain that I created that makes my ring, just like I did in my turtle video, we're going to put six single crochet inside of this ring. So three, four, five, and six. That's all wide and open. I pull my tail and that brings it right in. And after that, so usually what we would do is put an increase inside each of these stitches, but no, we're gonna repeat those six stitches for one extra round. So row two, instead of increasing to 12, we're gonna maintain these six stitches. And that is what creates this little pop. And what I like to do is I like to work through the front loop only, just like I stated in my turtle video. So one, two, three, four, and you'll notice that sometimes this likes to kind of curl in on itself like this. What you want to do is kind of make sure that it pops outward like that. That's what creates the little point. I think that's four and then five and then six. That's the end of row two. And now what we're gonna do is continue on how we would normally with our turtle shell. Basically, we're just kind of delaying it one extra row because we did this one extra row right here and we're going to increase to 18. So this next row, we're going to put two stitches in every single stitch. So one, two, next stitch, three, four, same stitch. See, you can put the increase, they're both inside there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the last stitch, eleven. 12. We should have 12 stitches on our work. That was the end of row three. Essentially, we're just kind of like pushing it down one row. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I like to add my tail here and I'm going to continue on like this until I'm done with my shell. And I'm going to finish off my belly just like I did in the turtle video. So essentially, I've done this. I'm going to increase until I have 36 stitches. I'm going to then work that shell for five rows, just like in the turtle video. And then I'm going to start working on the belly. So I'm gonna go finish this shell, just like I did in the turtle video. And then I'm gonna come back and show you how to do a turtle that looks, the belly looks similar to this so that you can see what that looks like for the turtle belly as well. And you can see kind of what I do for the whale as well. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna go finish off the shell and I'll be right back in order to show you how to do this little belly part and also how I do the embroidery. Be right back. All right, so I finished the belly. I added on the head and the fins and the tail just to get it done. And now I wanna show the embroider part. I decided to do the belly just ever so slightly differently than I did on this one. With this one, you would just use the light yellow color for the lemon, but I wanted to make it look like a little lemony bottom like I did for the whale, so I wanted to show that. So essentially for the belly on the first and last row, I changed to white and did the rest in the same color as the head, so you do the same thing for the lime if that's something that you would like to do where you did the pistache color or the buttercream, so the lighter toned. And I have a huge long line. Basically, I haven't even closed this up yet. So I'm taking the white. I have a lot of it. I probably did not need this much, quite honestly, but I am one of those that would rather make a tail too long rather than too short. And I'm gonna run my tail through the final six stitches of this white. And it might take a second for me to do that. But essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna quadrant this off. And it might've been actually easier for me to do this um, before adding on the head and the tail and all of that, but I still think I can make it work. It'll be fine. I'm gonna keep pulling this through. I'm gonna hit the dragon fruit whale on my desk and hopefully not make it fall. I did not make it fall, that's good. All right, so here, what I like to do is before I close off, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna split this. You can tell that it's split into eighths, like a lemon essentially. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna go up and into the white right there, but not quite. I have a little bit of double glue there, but it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna pull that and then pull it tight and that'll bring it all in. Don't do it so tight that you can't get back 
into it. And now what I'm going to do is actually just split it in half. So what we're going to do is go in the center here and try to ignore the cars going by. There we go. What I want is to go under. I want to get in the center. Whatever that will do. As I bounce my camera for the buck. There we go. Pull that through and that's a line right there. Take this and go across, again, going through the white. And we're gonna section that off. I do, I turn it into quarters first before turning it into my uh, eighths, essentially. So here we're gonna go through the white again. Go through there. I apologize if you can hear all of the cars going on. It is a very, very busy right now. And here, we're gonna go back into the center and now I'm gonna go in the middle between, between these two colors essentially. We're gonna go through there and then we're gonna go across and do the same thing across. We're going through and into the center of it essentially as best we can. Pull on that, tug that a little bit. Don't tuck it so tight that it ends up taut, or more than just taut, essentially. We're gonna go through there, which is kind of the center area of that. I didn't need to make this string half as long as I did, but it's okay. I'd rather make something too long than too short with my knitting. We're gonna go right there. That's about right half. And we're gonna go back in the center. And now that we've done all of our pieces, we're gonna just gonna take that and stab it upward, and then I try to go through multiple angles. I've got all eight done. I think that looks super duper cute. And we're gonna take this and go right up, like so. And I like to go at a couple different angles when I'm finishing off my embroidery, uh, like that. I made this tail way too, I wasted so much yarn. But it's okay, all of my tails for all of my wasted yarn ends up going into what my project next week is going to be. I need to find my scissors. They are some scissors. I have an entire thing where I keep them right nearby. And if you're finding that the tail looks like it's going too much, you just squish again and there you go. That is all there is to it. Let me know what you think about the cute little uh, whales and turtles. Let me know if you would like to see a banana whale. I don't think I'd be able to make a good banana turtle, but if enough people are interested, I could try to figure it out. I think I could maybe do something cute with the shell to make it look like a banana peel, but if that's something that you're interested in, let me know. Let me know what you would like to see in the future. Somebody commented down below that they would like to see a Christmas turtle, and honestly, I think that would be ridiculously cute if I could do a way that I could make the shell into a tree or just have a normal whale and then have like a little Christmas hat on top of him or a combination where I have the tree shell with a little Christmas hat on top of his little head. Let me know what you would like to see down below for the future. Next uh, video that I do is going to be this cute little addendum to my pumpkin video. So I have uh, just the plain pumpkin from last year and that usually comes with something that is similar to I, I did the stem and the leaf and the little twine here that's usually on top of this but instead of doing this kind of topper for this type of pumpkin I want to do a little witchy one that goes and, and, and spirals out and I think it's super cute and I want to show how to do that so I'm going to be doing that next week with uh, the same kind of top for any of the size pumpkins that are coming out there. This is a small, this is a large, so let me know what you would like to see in the future for more Halloween-y things. I'm also going to be doing a reversible ghost. Uh, again, I, I do take in comments all the time. Let me know what you guys would like to see in the future. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for your support. Um, thank you for your generous pledges. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, you can go to patreon.com slash knit, and you can see the different rewards that we do for our patrons there. Free patterns, access to tutorials, and other stuff like that. Um, if you can't do anything monetarily, I am perfectly fine with just a little subscribe. I am more than thankful for that. There are almost 56,000 of you, and I am so amazed at the community that is being built. We have a Discord server, so if you're interested in joining that, it's a great little community over there, and uh, yeah. <laughs>
subscribe hit the little bell before you leave if you want to be notified about my cute little witchy pumpkin and uh see more videos like this until next time guys bye